in case uh, from the emergency room, a patient who underwent colonoscopy one day previously and is now presenting with the left upper quadrant abdominal pain. As we scan through the lower thorax and the upper abdomen, we start to see that there is a left subdiaphragmatic collection, uh, extremely heterogeneous with some high density components to it. Uh, coming further down, we start to see the spleen, which has an irregular contour. Uh, there appears to be a collection beneath the capsule, and there's this large defect in the parenchyma. As we follow the scan down, there is a small amount of fluid in the left flank as well. Uh, and there's a collection of fluid in the lower pelvis in the region of the cul-de-sac. Uh, so putting it all together in a patient who has undergone recent colonoscopy, uh, this is a case of splenic rupture where uh, the spleen, you can see the hematoma that has developed in the spleen that has ruptured through uh, into the subcapsular space and then through the splenic capsule into the subphrenic space. Uh, and has tracked down through the peritoneal cavity, resulting in pelvic hemoperitoneum. Uh, this is a complication of colonoscopy that is described in the literature. It is believed to be uh, a result of the fact that the splenocolic ligament is, uh, forms a, a point of uh, continuity between the spleen and the colon and uh, predisposes the spleen to injury at the time of negotiating the, the, of the scope, negotiating the splenic flexure of the colon. Uh, so something to look out for in patients who presents following colonoscopy with left upper quadrant pain. Thank you.